So Harley, can you please do a video about a bodybuilding meal example? Well, I just had my bodybuilder meal then. <coughs> I had probably about 20, 22 bananas in there. Now, when you have a banana, let me get this banana down here. When you have bananas, you've got to make sure they're ripe and spotty, all right? It's going to have a bit of spots in there. Depends where you are, though. I mean, I've had bananas in the US where they don't spot up, but in Australia, the banana's got to be spotty in Thailand. They don't have to have spots. But anyway, so you'll find out. Basically, when a banana is ready to eat, it just pops open really easily. No sound at all. No sound at all. So, ripe bananas, I just have about 22. And people will say, hey, man. Hey. You gotta have, you gotta have protein. You gotta have the bloating. You gotta buy my whey bloating powder. <laughs> Whoa. I disagree, man. Bodybuilding is about lifting heavy weights consistently for years and years and years. Bodybuilding is about lifting heavy weights for years and years and years. And for a lot of people on YouTube, it's steroids as well. But you come to me because you want health advice. A lot of people out there doing the juice on the gear and they're telling you to buy their whey protein or buy some special ebook or whatever. But reality is, man, they got gains from the gear. And heavy weights. And heavy weights. But when you're on the gear, when you're micro dosing synthol, it's fucking easy to get size. You micro dose synthol in your pecs, your your lats, your traps, your shoulders, your delts, biceps, triceps, you can you can put on a size a lot quicker than you can put on some size really quick if you're microdosing synthol. So what you will see is you'll see a lot of people out there who look big, but they've got no strength. Like you see my friend Mike Vassy from Stru uh, Fruit Strength Channel, I put it in there below. He's about 130, 135 pounds, but bench pressing more than Hodge Twins, uh, Strength Camp dude, bench pressing more than all those guys, Ogus, just bench pressing more than those guys, pound for pound, and often one rep max more as well. But how does he do it? And he's sort of, you know, he doesn't look as big as those guys. Well, Mike is not on any juice or taking cream or things that puff up and give you fake muscle. That's in between bodybuilders generally and strong guys is fake muscle. Microdosing synthol or things like that. And everyone knows what synthol does if you take a lot of it. If you microdose it, you can get some legend legendary aesthetics there. You know, so a lot of legends of aesthetics out there microdosing uh, certain things. So it doesn't make them bad people. So a bodybuilding meal example, though, is whatever you want to eat, as long as it's got enough carbohydrates so you can lift the weights. But don't get suckered in and think that it's the, the little, you know, the little creatine or whatever. That gives you a bit of an effect, but it's the steroids, man, that give you that real <laughs> So do you want to be looking like a steroid user or do you want to be more natural? It depends, you know, so you got to ask yourself, or do you want to have fake muscle we have fake muscle, or like synthol and stuff, and creatine and puff, or do you want to have explosive strength, like my friend Mike? You can ask yourself what you want. So, bodybuilding meal example is, you know, it doesn't matter what you eat, man, because my mum, she eats the same as, you know, TNW or all those guys. She eats the same as them, but she's fat and overweight and out of shape. You know, I still love her, but... So people would say, oh, you've got to eat meat for, for build muscle. It's such fucking bullshit. you got to lift heavy weights, man. And so many guys out there spend time, they go, oh, what's the best program to do? And the meanwhile, they're not doing any training. They're not lifting any weights. For years and years, they're like, oh, I'm studying on what's the, the best you know, routine to do. And I'm like, dude, just buy a fucking bench press off eBay for 50 bucks or Craigslist and start training. Yeah, do five sets of bench, eight to 12 reps. Two minutes recovery. Do that twice a week. <laughs> Just do that, man. For years and years and years, and you'll get you'll get gains. You get gains in strength and size. But if you want the steroid effect, man, then yeah, you got to get on the gear. That's just how it is. So I'm obviously not promoting that, but don't get believe the people out there who are you know eating heart attack burgers and you know four pizzas for lunch or whatever, and they go, I wouldn't do the juice though because the juice is bad for your heart. <laughs> but I'll eat. Them. 400 milligrams of cholesterol for lunch, and I'll, you know, and I look like a juice head, but I'm not, because I'm really into health, 
and that's why I smoke tobacco and smoke cigarettes and, and drink, you know, Jack 3D and, and have a, you know, Spartamine. But I mean, really into health, you know, but I wouldn't do the gear because I heard that makes your hair fall out of time. It's like, hang on, man. <laughs> There's plenty of people out there with gyno and then they don't do videos because, well, they don't do videos, their, sh their nipples are exposed because the gyno is so evident it gives it away. That's why they do like a, someone will do like a transformation video, you know, at certain times of the year or whatever, but the rest of the year they're always wearing a singlet on because the gyno is, is self evident. And again, it doesn't make anyone bad people, but I think what we need is clarification in this uh, fitness world of what people are actually doing. So don't get thinking, oh, what's the ultimate bodybuilding meal? Because it doesn't really matter. If you get enough, you're getting 3,000 calories a day plus and you're lifting heavy weights, you're going to put on the muscle. But you're not going to look like a, a juice head, man unless you're on the juice. Simple as that. So thanks for watching. Post your comments and questions down below. Train smart. Train consistent. Be patient. Easy.